Okay, hi there Aries, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whenever you're coming across this channel, very, very nice to see you. Um, today we're going to be looking at your love life, let's take a look here, see what is influencing you, um, things that you kind of know, things that you don't know. Um, now influences can take many, many shapes, all shapes and sizes, um, is that Flapping of the wings as a butterfly. Oh my gosh, right. So these three wanted to, oh no, we've got four. Thank you. Yep, I will take four. Four energies. So, belonging. Okay, definitely um, when you're in the market for finding true love, you want to look for it in places where you feel like you belong. Okay. Um, so this could be joining a group or going to some sort of webinar, you know, even you're going to find it, I feel, this this month in the most unlikeliest of places, somewhere you wouldn't expect, somewhere you're just going about your daily sort of uh, daily stuff here, your, your day to day. We've all oh, look complicated. All right. So right here, we could have third party energy straight away is complicated situation. Um, it could also be that there's distance, um, any kind of uh, any, anything you could possibly imagine right here, I feel. Yeah, lots going on here. So it's definitely going to be complicated. It's not the not going to be a clear path for you here this month, Aries. Oh, look, we have Aphrodite coming in to support you, though. This is amazing. So we love it when Aphrodite is here because she is here for those love connections, true love. She is a strong, strong energy to have around you definitely this month. So as we're into May here, this is wonderful to see Aphrodite here. We love her. Um, brilliant, brilliant stuff. She's definitely, uh, <laughs> she's definitely guiding you here this month. Ooh, look invisible okay so this could be because of that complicated uh card energy that we had to come out earlier but it might be wise here to kind of uh you, you might well you may have some time here this month where you just want to keep like be invisible keep yourself quiet keep yourself distant um that's okay you're allowed to do that so no it's not necessarily your first uh <laughs> your first thought <laughs> lovely Aries but um you know it is what it is so um let's get on with the tarot okay so this is Aries in love please for May Aries in love for May please oh we're stopping there that was a quick shuffle um right I feel like I need to just do a slightly different spread for you guys today if you're new to my channel here um I kind of mix it up Every time I do a reading, I just go with what I'm told to, what I'm guided to. So um, you guys get the best out of uh, the energies around you. So definitely, or you know, if you're returning here and you're wondering why it's a bit different today, this is why. Um, I kind of just do what my guides tell me. So <laughs> you've got the world here at the top, which is definitely, there's an ending and a beginning here for you. Now I felt this is very present. So this ending could have just happened um, or it could have happened, you know, maybe like four months ago, five months ago, um, but you're really just coming energetically now to the close here, okay? Really just uh, shutting that down, shutting that down. Um, if this is someone that keeps kind of intruding on your thoughts here or intruding in your inbox, in your texting, you know, something like that, there's coming to an end. There's a closing of the energy here. There is a new beginning here. I kind of feel like for a lot of you, I'm just feeling like a real big like side of like, oh, when is this going to change? When is something uh, good going to happen? When am I going to, you know, there's a, a lot of questions here because I feel like you guys have been through something really tough here. Yeah, look at this, really tough. So some of you here, we've got this energy from abroad kind of directed at you. Okay, so some of you here, you could well be like getting, experiencing some type of uh, spiritual attack type energy and that's not something I I would say lightly when um, when someone's under spiritual attack it's you know depending on how sensitive to you are to the energy and really doesn't have a huge amount to do with how 
the other person, what the other person is doing. Um, it's all about the impact that it has on you. So look right here, you can see maybe just things are just feeling a little bit more sluggish of late, uh, feeling as though perhaps things are not working out, not going so well for you right now. And it can be silly little things, frustrating things, things that are really annoying you, like the batteries run out on something when just as you need it, um, the traffic light turns red just as you're pulling up to it. Just silly, frustrating little things. I feel like it's having quite uh, an impact on your energy right now. Now, don't worry about that. Okay, don't worry about that. Let's... Uh, just thinking like how how this is why this world card is so important because this other person here could be you know descending I, I feel like maybe they don't realize they're doing it it's just the way that they're thinking about you here mm, it's like they're sending a big uh, kind of energy signal your way and it, it, it's just the way that that energy is impacting on you. It could be that they're like really just hoping you're going to speak to them again. You're going to talk to them, something along those lines. But how it's then impacting in your energy is this very heavy burden, this overload here. So it, it affects everyone differently. Um, but as I'm saying that, I'm, I'm, I heard violet and I'm seeing purple violets here. So definitely that violet flame can help you here. So all you need to do with this, there are some excellent videos on violet flame healing out there on YouTube. Um, some lovely ASMR Reiki. I can't recommend those highly enough. Um, there are some lovely channels that I use regularly for myself. Um, but um, violet flame energy, you can just do that with a simple visualization. Just imagine that uh, a fire burning, or you need, for example, candlelight, and then imagine it's purple, but it's growing bigger and bigger and bigger until it actually engulfs you. Now that violet energy is very powerful. It's transmuting, so it's it changes all of that low vibrational energy that's in you and it just takes it and transforms it into something beautiful bright and positive i'm also getting here for a lot of you archangel michael um uh, yeah thank you um archangel michael here he can be called upon anytime you feel like you need him um he's he's ready to come in and defend you in fact, some of you, you may well have been asking. You could have been asking your guides, your angels for protection here this last few days. I feel like the last few days, absolutely. It's like it's really hit home here. So here, we have, what we have is this kind of this short journey, this two of wands energy. It's like it is waiting. It's like waiting definitely with this card, but for you, I feel like it's time to start, like it's this itchy feet, it's time to get moving, it's time to get get yourself going again. Um, the, I'm hearing motivation, so it could be lacking in motivation or maybe have an abundance of motivation and not really any kind of direction for it. Um, so the universe is just really kind of guiding you, wanting you to um, put your focus and efforts into the right direction here. Um, Mm, I'm hearing bothering you. So has someone been bothering you? Yeah, I feel like someone's actually waiting for you. Someone, someone here is waiting for you. But you know, you <laughs> you're like. Nah, I'm, I'm done waiting. I, I'm done waiting. I don't want to know. I don't want to know this person. I don't want to see this person. I don't want to hear about this person. This is why Archangel Michael is here and the um, Violet Flame is here as well, because you're just trying to cut that energy off. This is why it's impacting you like this, with this Ten of Wands. Um, this heavy kind of load energy is it's trying to clear the way. It's trying to clear things out for you that you don't need. Um, and it's sort of like an energy surge here. So 
when you get an energy surge to something, um, you always kind of, you, you're going to blow a fuse or two. You might explode a light bulb. So there's going to be a knock-on effect for that, um, you know, but this this is what it is. I feel like the world here is saying, look, you are clearing things, okay? Um, so you do have the Hierophant here as well. This is lovely. Um, so definitely for your, in terms of your spiritual journey, uh, what you've learned so far about life and all of that good stuff, um, you're doing really fantastic. You're on the right pathway. I feel like that's important for some of you to hear is actually knowing that you're on your pathway. You haven't, you're not losing anything by cutting this person out energetically. You're not losing out um, on you know, anything coming in for you in terms of, I, I want to say abundance, you're not going to lose out basically by saying no to something. Don't feel like you need to do, um, to do something because somebody else might have said, oh yeah, that's lovely. This is wonderful. You definitely need to, um, be with this person. They're so nice and all this. Um, no, you're fine. You, you're following your pathway. So it's really important to understand that. Um, we have the Three of Cups here. So we have a reason to celebrate. Now, I'm just going to just clarify what this is. Because oftentimes, Three of Cups is someone coming back in. It's, uh, it's a return. So let's just see who this might be. I'm hoping it's going to be a friend here. But that's just... <laughs> or a family member, so, you know, someone that you want, someone that you, you kind of want to have back in. <laughs> um, let's see, who's the three of cups for Aries? Thank you. Five of pentacles, someone you've cut out. Look, it's, oh, it's someone you've actually cut out. You've put them out in the cold, okay? Now, I'm hearing that for some of you here, this could be anybody, <laughs> like, quite literally. Oh, there's, there's so many people I've cut off here, says Aries, you know, that's fine. <laughs> oh, brilliant. You know, bless, bless, bless. We can only take so much in, at a time, you know? We can only handle so much in our lives. You know, if you can't deal with somebody and their issues and their problems at that time, that's okay. You don't have to. Don't feel bad about kind of having to reject people in the past, you know? But now, you know, you might be stronger. You might be better prepared, better able, have more wisdom, um, all of those things. So, you know, know who you are better as a person and all of that stuff. So that is why they're coming back in you know um to be fair it does have a kind of a twin flame vibe to this but i feel also we could be looking at karmic partners you know with this repeating cycle at the top here with the world um quite a lot so let's have a look at this nine of swords because nine of swords i do kind of like the nine of swords it's a very um spiritual energy because it, it's about someone who can't sleep, yeah? Or they've woken up in the night, they've got all this tension, all this anxiety. Um, the reason that they can't wake up with all of these worries, you know, why they can't wake up, why they can't sleep with all these worries is because the, the energy there of the night is saying, look, you know, uh, your guides can come in. You can allow spirit come close to you. You can allow all of this... Um, wonderful energy that you normally switch off in the daytime because you've got to do your day-to-day -day stuff that's allowed to come through yeah so let's have a look at this nine of swords for you oh my gosh what are they doing please thank you um <laughs> just felt like it went on for ages look that's communication this one of these worries here is definitely around contact or communication um next oh my gosh they wanted these two yeah, look, we've got someone here that's juggling two different lives, okay? Um, back and forth, back and forth. They want both, okay? They want two things. So it's, I kind of did get that third-party vibe at the top that it's complicated um, and the distance with these oracle cards. It's kind of coming out here again with this two of pentacles. Um, chariot energy, look. Um, I feel like maybe energetically some of you know that this person um is wanting to move towards you and i feel like you're just wanting to move away from them but i feel like you know you're very you, you get to a point where you're quite conflicted here but i feel like this is what's coming in for you because right now i feel like you've actually you're very clear on this you're very clear on what you want with regards to this person um you know you want to be separate from that energy you don't want to have them around you want to be able to be kind of successful on your way um and it feels like energetically speaking they just keep coming across your thoughts here they just keep coming in um and uh, you're trying to keep that keep a lid on that 
Let's see what the Cleopatra deck has to say, because this is a very ancient wisdom here, the Cleopatra deck. Um, let's see what they have to say for you. Um, thank you. Two of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, it's the same card. There's two of Pentacles again. We had it literally moments ago here. So, but right here we have Horus um, on the front. Very, very uh, beautiful energy. You can go away, look up uh, the god Horus. First pharaoh of Egypt, I do believe, or the first son of Isis and Osiris. Um, Ooh, the Page of Swords as well. Look at that. So someone is definitely uh, keeping their eye on you for sure here. Could be energetically. Now, Horus right here, what have you got to say to me, please? Thank you. Ah, okay. So with this, I feel like there's a lot of, again, it's that wisdom and protection is what I'm getting here. So you, just so that you know, guys, you are uh, being looked after by spirit. You're being protected. Um, they want me to look at this one. Oh, yes, Queen of Wands. Look, there you are. This is you in all your glory. We have the beautiful goddess um, Sakhamet here, or Sakhamet. Um, She is gorgeous. Queen of Wands energy. Now, again, if you're interested about any of these gods here or goddesses, go look them up. So she is a fierce character. She is lovely, well-beloved um, character of Egypt. She actually transforms into Hathor. Um, and I'm sure you're pretty familiar with the goddess Hathor, but she was actually called the weapon of Ra at one point. So she was, uh, you know, his go-to for uh, going into battle, um, getting the job done. <laughs> um, so you're really standing strong in your energy areas. You're kind of ready. You're kind of in fighting mode here. You don't want to be chased. You don't want to be running. Like you're just like ready. If this person approaches, turn. And then you are again, look, Aries energy again. So it's like double, double. Mm -mm. Yeah, nobody's going to be messing with you guys. Like you'll be sending them, <laughs> you'll be sending them on the boat to the Jurats, <laughs> um, which is the Egyptian afterlife here. So yeah, no messing with Aries here this month um, because you, you're in fighting mode here. You're in uh, your, your fine self, in your energy focusing on you, not settling for anything less here. So awesome job, Aries, beautiful energy. Right, my love, thank you for watching to the end and sending you lots of love, blessings, light and abundance here for you. Um, so take care, have a fantastic week. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna pop a, a link in the description for one of my new videos. It's all about manifesting abundance. There's some cute little items you can get on Amazon. So. I thought I'd do a little video and let you guys know uh, the, you know, the inside information. Um, so, okay, guys, take care. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time.